Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris. Uh, we have started our new civilization and we just discovered a new archaeological site. So let's go to that. Uh, there. The archaeology window shows details of the currently selected archaeology site. After progress is made, you can still go back and read previous stages by clicking the room icons. I have not encountered these archaeology sites before. There are a lot of things I haven't uh, encountered before in my old Stellaris playthrough, which was pretty close to when it was released, I think. Um, yeah, lots of interesting developments. Alright, a collision with a smaller asteroid has revealed a small blast door or airlock extending slightly from the surface of... Too long, didn't read <laughs> HR 5045, sorry. Uh, it appears to be thousands of years old and had previously been concealed by rocks and dust. For unknown reasons, scans cannot penetrate the asteroid's interior and the blast door is impervious to conventional cutting tools. To learn what is behind this door, a team would likely have to dig their way through uh, towards the center of the asteroid. Well, I, uh, I guess we're... We don't, definitely don't want to abort. Yeah, we, we want to proceed. Is this... Oh, this is a whole chapter thingy. Alright, ongoing excavation. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Totally. So, we have Kazakar, our homeworld of Kaz. And we are just... We explored this Atmir, but there's not a whole lot there. So I don't know if we want to claim it yet or not. We should probably claim all the things, right? It's been a long time since I played Stel Stellaris, so I haven't gotten the flow of things yet. And we may... We may collapse because of that, but we'll see. I'm much more interested in this system, and the science ship seems to be almost done. There's the TLDR H45 where we have uh, an archaeological site. So just a reminder, the two DLCs I have are Utopia and Ancient Relics. I'll decide whether I want some of the others. There's still time before the Steam sale ends, and I might pick them up if it seems like I'm going to be continuing to play this game further. Of course, if I do pick further ones up, I might restart the game. So, this is just to get my feet wet again and to see what the difference is between my old series and the new situation are. Unfortunately, I, st I still wanted to play Kerbals and that mod does not work. Okay, system survey is complete. So now can we send our construction ship over here and build a star base to... Will that claim the system? No, I'll try. That's one sure way of figuring that out. We have a colony ship. I'll send that to Rizzer now. As well. And this science ship, our most experienced science ship, can go over here and survey that system. We'll have a northerly science ship and a southerly science ship. Can't get to that place. Oh. Traditions. Okay, so we've accumulated enough unity points to... Oh, wait. Habitable World Survey. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something you need to Kazakar. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Um, well, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, what, what kind of points are those? Influence points. We get more influence points by not caring? Nonsense. We want surveys. Science. Okay, to boldly go sounds good. Uh, let's see. Anomaly research speed is increased. Adopting all discovery traditions increases our research. Oh, that was quick. 
Analyzed signs have been detected coming from inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. Could it indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere? Research, obviously. Um, there is a galaxy full of wonder waiting to be discovered. Yes. Um, I just want to see what this alternative is. Research alternatives increased by one. A scientist level cap re increased by two. Later. Discovery first. I mean, um, that to boldly go. It's the Kerbal way. Okay, anomaly on beer four, uh, five. Oh, that was five. Okay, so constructor ship. Has it? Oh, it's building the starbase. I want to see what. I don't remember whether building a starbase actually claims the system. And I want to see that before I have the colony ship do anything. Again, I, I probably really ought to have streamed this first so that people could tell me things that I. Ought to know, but it's all right. Now I'll figure things out somehow. It's a decently big galaxy and everything. What's that little flame? Oh, that's an anomaly. Construction complete. Okay, yes, we do claim it with just that uh, science. I mean, yes, good. Uh, the station. Science ship scans the surface of Zafa 2B. It becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Its composition and history provides it with extra materials that we should take the opportunity to gather. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Obviously. Completed the construction of a starbase. Yeah, that's a good place. Um, I think beer will be good next. Can we afford a star base? We can. We have discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of gas giant Beer 5. Massive floating creatures having evolved bodies filled with lighter than air gases follow their wind currents and feed off the, the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning, lightning storms. These beings, in turn, support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and each other. Fascinating. And so that adds uh, those science points to beer and gives us even more reason to build an outpost there. But I think um, let's colonize something around here. Can we? That's a molten world, though. Can we colonize an asteroid? I don't think so. I should uh, I should also build uh, resource collecting stations here. I I don't think any of these are actually habitable. Maybe. Okay, leaders gaining levels. Well, that's possible, it seems. Do we want to colonize a scorching hot molten world? Hmm. Does not seem like the best thing to do, does it? What does Zafa have? That's just a huge gas giant. Barren world. Barren is probably better than molten, though. But uh, I get the feeling we could hold out for better. What's uh, beer got? There's gas giant. So many gas giants. Gas giant. Baron. Asteroid. Frozen world. I think we need the shipyard to give us another science ship. We got a lot of minerals. 
And that's not really what we're using a lot of, though. Alloys is what we're using a lot of. I don't remember if the original game had alloys or not. Okay. Science ship, though. Certainly. I feel like it might be a good thing to have a bit more military. I don't know where those... We've got this warning thing and... Um, we had those cultists fly off somewhere. We don't know where they are. But yeah, another Corvette. That takes all of our alloys, though. We need to find some more of those. Because it seems shipbuilding is dependent on them. Minerals aren't what they used to be, I think. No orders. Alright, well. Survey that system, please. Seems to automatically build the uh, mining stations and research stations. Well, uh, let's try that. Mm. Build the mining stations. I don't know. Does it build all the mining stations that could be built in the system? Okay, uh, why is it going there first and there? And why isn't it moving? Oh, I guess there's a mining station around Beer itself because of the energy credits. Okay. Firin Malba, oh dear. A neutron star. But we've got a talk. Oh, that's a toxic world. It looked green to me. Barren world. Frozen world, uh, molten world. <laughs> oh, fun! And neutron. I want to colonize a neutron star, though. Are you telling me there's no science to a neutron star? Environmental hazard. Oh, well, we'll see. It's still surveying. Okay, we need a new leader for the science ship. And let's get a propulsion one, yeah. Age 33 is good, because they don't live very long. Okay, so this science ship is ready to go. Let's have it go on this side, survey that system. No, this one's sleeping? What? Mm, actually, it goes straight up there. That's a multi-star system. That's fancy. Three stars, it looks like. I don't know, maybe the Molten World's the best we can get around here. Gas Giant. Gas Giant, of course. More Gas Giant, Asteroid. I feel like maybe a barren world would be the best that we've seen so far. Is Frozen better than Barren? It used to show how many, like, spots we would have colonizing it. Terrestrial sculpting to terraform. Hmm. Do we need that before we actually land people?
such dramatic music. Now this is within our borders. But it's useless. Let's just move the colony ship over here for now. Oh, oh wait, hold, hold. It is of the same planet class as our home world, so our colonists should be quite comfortable there. Anomaly found. Okay, anomaly. Well, well, could you tell me which uh, planet that was? Okay, uh, but uh, anomaly, we are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this moon. It appears to be some kind of traffic be uh, tracking beacon. Okay, research. Um, when you say a world like our, there's an ocean world here. That's good. Is that like ours? Or no, this is habitable. Well, we need we need to get that within our borders stat. <laughs> so no orders for that construction ship. Well, you've got orders now. We can't build a start. Oh, we have to. Well, start moving over there. Um, you know what? Actually, build the mining stations over here. You done? No, you're still investigating. Good. System survey complete. Okay, now this one is surveyed. All right, so construction ship, just go straight here. We need an air construction ship. And colony ship, you can head out there too. Ancient survey marker. A small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Firin Malba 1A. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed there eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. Fascinating and nice minerals. Okay. We're just waiting for our, our arrivals. System survey complete. Hey, science ship, uh, Derelian, you can go over here. We want to make sure to protect our frontier if this is our new colony. We have enough unity to adopt new traditions. I'll hold off on that for a sec. Um, it looks like uh, Fir and Malba is a dead end, so we're gonna have that science ship. Oh no, it's still doing stuff surveying. Dradim. Okay, that's ooh, that's got a lot of potentially habitable. Okay, well then let's be careful. Let's. This is a choke point, I think. Uh, let's. Survey that system. Construction ship. Go ahead and do the mining stations over there. Are you ever going to get over to Dorelian? Come on. This is... No, finally. Uh oh, cultist marauders encountered. More ships belonging to the Fist of God have been encountered in the Aetheric. Uh, whatever. They are approaching in attack formation battle stations. Um, who are they approaching? <laughs> are they approaching my science ship? Where is this place? Uh, I can't pronounce. No? No? Well. Encounter. Some form of alien vessel in the same place. Gamma aliens. News of alien ships humming through the ether have reached Kazakar in many ways ending the first chapter of the book of Kazam Aryud's bid for stellar empire. Research complete? Okay, new research. Okay, could you hold on that hold? Wait. No, that hold. Um Hydroponics farms, I remember, used to be very important. Off-world trading company. Let's go with the hydroponics farms. They used to be pretty important. 
Okay, let me see where this hostile ves these hostile vessels are. Okay, this is our science ship. Let's have that science ship go elsewhere for now. And why are there two set? Well, I didn't order two separate things. Um, how do I select both? Move, turn. Okay, that ways and. Merch. Okay, you may begin. Evading hostile fleet. Yeah, evading is good. Let's get another Corvette. But I think this should suffice given our previous experience. So you to Athor uh Athiorix. Athiorix. System survey complete. Okay. God that that construction ship still hasn't arrived. Anomaly in Jilao. The Jilao has detected faint traces of weapon radiation indicative of a military spacecraft originating from Jilao. Okay, well, research it. That's what we do with everything. Construction complete. Okay, you can survey that place. Okay, finally, we've got to Dorelian. Please build that star base. Colony ship is on its way. Yep, we, we, yeah, the system has been surveyed. Research complete. Gonna send this other fleet over too. Let's quash this um, cult. Looks like we don't need to assign a leader to these uh, fleets necessarily. But uh, if I wanted to, let's recruit a cheap leader, maybe. Eager, unyielding, trickster. Hostile fleet engaged. Um, let's go with cheap. I mean, oh, cheap isn't doing so well for us right now. Oh, the tide may be turning. This uh, cultist has two skill instead of just one skill. Construction complete. Oh, engineering research. Ceramo metal armor. Well, that would improve our ships. Nebula refinery. Hmm. Well, the straight up mining station output is nice. Stronger ships. Robot assembly plants and robot workers. Hmm. Okay, we destroyed the cultist fleet. Let's get the mining. Uh, okay. Merge. Back to Kaz for the... Healing, and you can continue to survey that. Alright, Dorelian is within our borders. And the colony ship. So this is habitable. Go ahead and colonize that. Construction complete. Meanwhile, the constructor ship uh, can go ahead with mining stations. I should do more science. I mean, I'm supposed to be a very science-y... Alien spacecraft. A badly damaged military vessel bearing elaborate 
alien insignia circles Jalau. The ship has suffered a, incend a heavy incendiary attack, which has melted its hull, leaving no survivors on board. No weapons known to us today can produce temperatures high enough to cause such an effect. Perhaps the ship's logs may shed some light on its violent end. I'll examine the logs. I have no idea how we have the logistics to, uh, not the logistics, linguistics to understand any of it. Construction complete. Just build mining stations. And you build research stations. Okay, a leader has gained a level. Oh wait. Okay, more traditions. Science division, data uplinks. Research station output increased by 10%. I don't know, we haven't we aren't close to any scientist level caps yet. Let's get the output. Okay, colonize. Receiving a transmission from the Sek Lokar Irenic Republic. They appear to have successfully translated our language. See, you need to translate things. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Interesting. I was about to colonize and then we go get our first contact. Con con coincidence or something? No. Okay, well met friends, we are the Seklokar Arenic Republic, a nation built on the principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. Well, so are we, so are we mostly. Uh, Prime Minister Zidlaxi, the current head of our government, has expressed a sincere hope for a lasting friendship between our two peoples. Um, our citizens greet you in peace. Uh, the news that we have encountered an intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we had long suspected. We are not alone in the galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we have achieved space flight uh, at roughly the same time. Good. I like when we achieve things roughly at the same time. Okay, so there's 11 districts available. That's good. Um, colonize. Colonize from, yeah, the SOS. This plant offers low habitability for the selected species. Colonization is still possible, but all pops will suffer. I thought it was habitable. Um, and increased in upkeep and resource us usage. I mean, it's only a little bit of toxic kelp. I mean, oh yeah, it's an ocean world. Okay. Oh, we'll go for it, go for it. Dorelian Prime, yeah. Construction complete. So are they doing the thing? Yeah, they're colonizing. I'm gonna build another colony ship. Because we got our... Uh, oh, we can't yet. A great day for Kazam RUD. I need to get rid of the duh. Can I rename my civilization? Yes. Let me get rid of the duh. Because they always add the duh anyway. And demographics. And our leader, Coordinator Nog. Daughter of Gak. So, like, Gak died already? Hmm. Anyway, uh, yes, permanently anchored and everything, colonizing planet. All right. Um, so, colony ship lacking 29 alloys. See, we need to find alloys. We haven't found any of these alloys. How did we get alloys in the first place? Uh, I guess we have some Kazakar or no, it seems like we need to make them some other. They're just not floating about. Um, Homeworld, please. No, no. Is there something that makes alloys? 
Alloy Foundries. Anomaly found. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Research. Um, upkeep. Four of those. And... Turn minerals into alloys. Yeah, that would be good. Let's do that. But that's a hefty upkeep. The upkeep cost. Decisions. Nah. Archaeological site discovered? Whatever happened to, happened to... Oh, this is the same one, probably. Maybe. No, this is a different one. What happened to the last one? Closer examination of PTRE-3254 has revealed System's that it is actually an artificial construct designed to mimic a national asteroid. It's not a moon. No, I mean... Well, okay, well, chapter one. Nothing to report. Ongoing uh, excavation. Okay, Julao has been surveyed. Anomaly is research, being researched. Okay. We need to... Wow, Julao looks interesting. Trade value and everything. Okay. Um, let me just go ahead and starbase that. Science ship, go for that one. Oh, that's how we met them. They had this little... This is still surveying. Or, oh, maybe it was uh, doing the archaeological thing. That's done. Let's uh, cover these because they're within our sort of area. But we need to get these. Tropical, continental, tundra. We need to get those. So, where was this? This construction ship is all done with that one. Let's have it claim this for us. Oh, we need more of those um, unity points. Okay. Uh, then for the... Hostile fleet. Oh, uh, Delta aliens we have encountered in Mizar. Where is... Well, Mizar is up there. Hmm, okay. Oh, we'll let that sign ship deal with that independently. And then this is the area of these other guys, so we definitely need to get this before they do. Need 26 more unity points. Oh, no, that's not unity points, that's influence points. Well, I'm gonna send my fleet over here. Alright, well... Maybe these Delta aliens need to be dealt with. Actually, cancel that. Send... Go over to Jilao. Still colonizing. Wow, it takes a while to colonize these days. Construction complete. System survey complete. Um, so that's within our borders. Okay. Um, but I, I really need to starbase Dradim first. So okay. Um, why don't you go ahead and oops. Build mining stations. Now do we have no no we don't don't have enough. Okay. Well what's that? Oh the construction here is complete, yeah. 
So now we are getting more alloys. We need to figure out how to get more influence. Use unity. Stronghold. Research complete. Luxury residences. Turn consumer goods. We have a lot of consumer goods into unity and amenities. Oh, not a, I, I want influence, not that. No. We keep misreading influence as unity. We don't need unity. We need influence. Research labs, though. That's always good. Consumer goods into research. Yeah. Yeah. That's more like us. Speaking of research. Research station output. Improve reactor booster. Okay, you said booster. Gotta go with that. One more tick of influence and then we'll have enough to claim Dreadim. Okay. There we go. Build Starbase. No, that sign ship doesn't need to hang out there. It's all done surveying that. Uh, go ahead and continue surveying this. Investigating Wuei 1A. Okay, this seems like a good time to pause. There's a somewhat of a lull in the action. We discovered our first aliens. We colonized our first world. So we're getting along here. So uh, with that, I'll wrap up. But for guys, I'm going to continue playing and record the next episode directly. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.